I heard a loud voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, Go and pour out the seven bowls of the wrath of God on the earth. The first went and poured out his bowl into the earth, and it became a harmful and evil sore on the men who had the mark of the beast and who worshipped his image. The second angel poured out his bowl into the sea, and it became blood as of a dead man. Every living thing in the sea died. The third poured out his bowl into the rivers and springs of waters, and it became blood. I heard the angel of the water saying, You are righteous, who are and who were, you holy one, because you judge this way. For they poured out the blood of the saints and the prophets, and you have given them blood to drink. They deserve this. I heard the altar saying, Yes, Lord God, the Almighty, true and righteous are your judgments. The fourth poured out his bowl on the sun, and it was given to him to scorch men with fire. People were scorched with great heat, and people blasphemed the name of God, who has the power over these plagues. They didn't repent and give him glory. The fifth poured out his bowl on the throne of the beast, and his kingdom was darkened. They gnawed their tongues because of the pain, and they blasphemed the God of heaven because of their pain and their sores. They didn't repent of their works. The sixth poured out his bowl on the great river, the Euphrates. Its water was dried up, that the way might be made ready for the kings that come from the sunrise. I saw coming out of the mouth of the dragon, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet, three unclean spirits, something like frogs. For they are spirits of demons, performing signs, which go forth to the kings of the whole inhabited earth, to gather them together for the war of that great day of God, the Almighty. Behold, I come like a thief. Blessed is he who watches, and keeps his clothes, so that he doesn't walk naked, and they see his shame. He gathered them together into the place which is called in Hebrew, Megiddo. The seventh poured out his bowl into the air. A loud voice came forth out of the temple of heaven from the throne, saying, It is done. There were lightning, sounds, and thunders, and there was a great earthquake, such as was not since there were men on the earth. So great an earthquake, so mighty. The great city was divided into three parts, and the cities of the nations fell. Babylon the Great was remembered in the sight of God to give her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath. Every island fled away, and the mountains were not found. Great hailstones, about the weight of a talent, came down out of the sky on men. Men blasphemed God because of the plague of the hail, for this plague is exceedingly severe.' 